Yeah, uh, you're welcome to this uh, chat day. Okay, uh, this is a place uh, where I upload uh, virtually every day on YouTube. Okay, and our courses are based on uh, uh, mathematics and other science subjects. As of now, we are uploading on math. Shortly, we'll start uploading on physics. Uh, this course is a numerical uh, techniques uh, one, and then we are looking at uh, differentiation. Okay, if y is equal to x to the power n, okay, the differential coefficient is denoted. Uh, the differential coefficient of as the symbol the y and uh, the x equal to what? Equal to the power here will come to the front, okay. And then you write the question again, and then the power minus one. So that is how to. Uh, differentiate where your dy dx is called a uh, derivative or we call it differential uh, coefficient uh, differential uh, coefficient okay uh, differential coefficients Co coefficients okay differential coefficient that's what we call dy dr dy dx you can also use the symbol uh, y prime to mean the y uh, dx can use the y prime uh, to mean uh, the facial uh, coefficients. Okay, and what you have, we have to note is that y, in this case, is a function of what? It's a function of x. If this is a particular uh, form, it's a function of x. So if y probably is a function of theta, maybe you have theta to power n, you do the same way also. In this case now, the y is a function of what? Theta. So you differentiate respect to what? To the function. Here, with differentiated respect to the function, respect to x, okay? So if you differentiate here respect to theta, that will be dy uh, the theta, okay? And the power will go to the front, and then you have the question again, and it's one, okay? So let's now look at the form whereby you have a constant attached to that function x. You have a constant a attached to that function a function x okay so the derivative which we call the differential coefficient uh, is equal to the constant is there the power will go to the front and that will be what a times what a times n and then write this uh, function then subtract one from that power of that function so that is another form uh, of, uh, of differentiation okay we have a, a constant so that's that on that. Let's dive into questions uh, so that we can enjoy uh, these, uh, uh, these aspects. Okay, so that's that. So that's what we have here. Y is a function of what? It's a function of this variable. So the y dx now, the differential coefficient will be equal to what? Uh, the power will come to the front. That will be half. And then write that question again. And then the power again minus 1. Okay. And that will be equal to what? Half times this one is what? Half minus one is minus half. So that's the that's that. The only thing we need to do here is just to do the uh, the algebra, which will be equal to half uh, times this minus here divides one over x one x half. Okay, and this will be equal to what? One one times one one, and then two times this that be two. Uh, Explanation to power half means square root of that function. So that finished that question one. Question two. Yeah, question two. We have a, a y equal to x4 over x to the power two. So in this case, now before you do the differentiation, you what you do the algebra, which will be equal to this will be equal to uh, uh, they have the same base, and you got the you are dividing, so that will be 4 minus 2. You take one of the bases and you subtract the power. So you are having uh, x power 2, 4 minus 2, minus 2. So that's y. Okay, then you can get the y dx, and that will be equal to what? The power will go to the front, and then the power again minus 1. So that's equal to what? 2x. Well, 2 is done. For question 3, uh, y is equal to what? y is equal to uh, 3 square root x square power 3 okay so 
we need to do the algebra first before we do the differentiation. So this will be equal to y equal to 3, uh, 2 times uh, 3, that's 6. So that's square root of what? x1, x power 6. And remove this radical, remove this square root, which is equal to what? Uh, power half. So 6 times half, that will be equal to what? Uh, then times 3, that will be equal to uh, 6 times half, that will be x to what? x to power 3. 6 times half is 3. So we have that. Then we can now get the differential coefficient, which will be equal to what? Uh, 3 times 3, that's uh, 9. And then the function, minus 1, 3 minus 1. That's 9 x squared. Uh, the fourth one, which is the last for this segment, uh, y equal to 5 over x minus 0 0.5. Okay? So, first thing we need to do, this is equal to uh, do the algebra. So, y will be equal to, um, y will be equal to uh, 5 over this minus here is 1 over x what x uh, 0 0.5 so i've removed the negative now so and this one is a fraction and when you there's an inverse here there's a one here there's an invisible one here so once you uh reciprocate this fraction then you have 5 uh x 0 0.5 okay so and if that one is not clear let me explain again so we go to 5 this line with division divided by 1 over uh, x 0.5. Then change this one to multiplication, and that will be what 5 times 5 times. Uh, uh, this will flip upside down. Then we have x 0.5 over 1. Okay. Y uh, the x will be equal to the power will go to the front. That's 5 times 0.5. Then the power again, uh, the function, and then power 0.5 minus 1. And that will be equal to, if you multiply this one, uh, I think that should be 2.5. And then this will be equal to what? X. 0 0.5 minus 1, I think that will be minus half. That should be minus half. So that's what, you can write this one as uh, 5 over 2. Write this one as 5 over 2 times this one. This minus here is 1 over X to power what? To power half. And that will be equal to what? 5 over 2. This is uh, power to power half x to power half means square root of what of x and that finished that question